Hey everybody, once again, I am the Fish, and welcome to another awesome 4 vs. 4 strategy. This time it's going to be Terran, and again, this is a response to my original Zerg strategy video, where I did a simple Ling Rush build. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a pretty simple 3 racks uh, build. Now, if you guys haven't, I'd recommend going back and watching my Protoss video. And because in my protest video I talk a lot about mechanics and I also talk about uh, some of my thought process of how I'm going about uh, doing my builds. So in this game, what I'm going to be doing is very similar. The first objective that you want to do is you want to get up to about 25 SCEs. Enough to get your main saturated, you want to get your orbital out, you want to be basically set up to uh, have some income, have some mobility have some ability to do different things. Uh, so now I, I build my supply depot on 10 halfway through your 10th SCV. You plop down your supply depot so that it finishes about the same time as your uh, 11th SCV. Then the next thing you're going to be worrying about is to get your barracks down, of course, all very standard. <laughs> and uh, make sure that you're constantly building SCVs. I mean, that's kind of the SCV whole point. Ready. Uh, you don't want to ever really sacrifice your. You, you don't ever really want to sacrifice building your SCVs to try and get your barracks out a little earlier or something. So in SCV this uh, in this one, I do kind of a funny build. I will actually I go for the gas before second racks, and I get a little bit of a delayed um, orbital. You should normally get your orbital at either 15 or 16 SCVs, but I wait until 17 uh, supply, I should say. But that's okay. Um, you can do little knickknacks, different things. Um, talking about a couple seconds here and there isn't going to help you until you get into the really high leagues. Um, oh, I forgot my disclaimer. I'm a Diamond League, um, but Terran is definitely my worst race. I'm much better with Protoss and Zerg. Uh, so take this for what it, you will. Uh, if you're I don't know, I'd say platinum or, or gold or below. This should be this should help you a little bit, maybe get you thinking ready. about it a little differently. So um, now that I've got my, my wall finished and I've got my second supply depot, I've got my command center becoming a uh, orbital, I can start to focus on different stuff and This better be good. Now uh, I realize there's a hole in my wall, so I put my second Upgrade barracks down complete. there and then I wanna quickly get a third barracks down as well. So, oh, phase one oh, of this build is going to be to try and get your orbital command up to get enough SCVs down. Um, go, go, go. Getting saturated isn't as important as getting your orbital oh, finished. Yeah, that's the most important ready. objective you have the, for the beginning of the game. Uh, because mules are just so good. Um, so then you get your three barracks down, and I'm, I should speed up this game a little bit. Uh, you get your three barracks down, oh, allies base. and then what I like to do is, I'd like to just oh, have about four marines out, and then I do a little bit of teching. So oh. what I'll do is I'll use my four marines just for defense or to help hold off any aggression against my allies. Uh, and then what I'll immediately do is I'll go into building, um, starting to get plus one, plus one upgrades. So I, you see that I'm getting, I'm getting two engineering bays right near my front door, which is a little unusual. Don't see people do that at the six minute mark, but I like to do it. Um, you basically, you're basically cutting like a marauder and a couple marines uh, at the beginning uh, in exchange for plus one plus one, which is kind of a cool little trade as long as you're not trying to put on super early pressure. Uh, and then I think in this game I immediately started going into um, I get a factory pretty soon. Research, but complete. then I. Also, another cool thing you can do with this is um, you don't have to commit to anything really. You can open up three racks and then switch into uh, something else. You can like switch into siege tanks once you get your second base down. And so in this game though, I think I just stick with, with bio. Um, so it can be flexible, but this is the opener. Three barracks. Oh, on your barracks, if you didn't notice, it's, it's usually two um, tech labs and one reactor. You can go one tech lab, but it makes it very tough to get um, your three key upgrades. And your three key upgrades that you're going to need to get are, of course, stim and combat shields and um, the one for Marauders. I forget what it's called at the moment. 
but you want to make sure to get those out really soon. As you can see, I think I'm just finishing up Stim. Upgrade complete. And uh, so I've got all the upgrades now, I believe. And yeah, so phase one's done. Additional where I got all my SCVs phase two, I've got my infrastructure, I can get upgrades, I can get three barracks. Now, phase three is going to be to either put on some pressure or expand. Now, since they attacked us, I decided the best thing to do would be expand. Another thing that I like to do with this build is to get a second command center fairly early. Um, a modified version of this build, what you can do is get one racks, throw down your command center, and then go back into the three racks build. Or you could play standard from there. Uh, what that allows you to do, it allows you to kind of fast expand. But it can be risky if you only have a few marines to defend with. Additional supply um, But that required. should be... It should be pretty easy for you to do that. Required. Get a ton of SCVs out, get two orbitals. Um, and then you can basically just add on barracks after barracks after that. Um, one thing to kind of pay attention to is the timing of your factory. If you get it too early, you can, really, you can really sacrifice the early units to get ahead in the tech path, but I'd be very careful doing that. Make sure you know what your opponents are doing before you do something like that. Um, but you can... I would say that, uh, I mean, these in this case, it's a little bit late right now, but my timing on these medevacs it would have been helpful a little bit earlier. But, um, to make up for that, I think I get three star ports. Uh, the other reason that I did that was just in case I needed to get Vikings. I saw a ton of them just like this. It never really happened. But, um... Those are a couple different modifications you can do. Uh, with this build, you want to favor bunkers if you're playing defensively. You can get one or two down uh, to try and defend a natural expansion. It's the best thing that you can do. Um, bio. The thing about bio, though, to be aware of is once you kind of commit to bio, it's hard to really switch. It's hard for you to say, oh, well, my opponent's got a million colossi. Now I need to go. Add on. And Complete. get uh, something else. I need to get Siege Tanks or Thors, or I need to get Vikings. Oh, if you're going bio, it can be tough to do that. Attack. It can be really tough to do that. So, my recommendation is to think about your unit composition. If you're going up against uh, Protoss, try and get this Ghosts out quickly. Uh, stick with a lot of Marauders if they're going with a lot of Stalkers. Um, but if you're going against Zerg, you want to get more um, Marines. So you want to get more, you know, um, uh, reactors on your barracks. So again, you can see I'm getting supply blocks and stuff. Um, like I said, Terran is not my best race. Um, if I was playing Zerg, I'd probably be like, pretty close to maxed out by now, but I'm not playing Zergs. But anyway, once you once you do um, get into the late game. You want to think about using mules to your advantage. Get extra command centers, get extra orbital commands if you can. Uh, I've actually got three, I don't think you can see. I think I got three Ready in this game. Off. But use that, use the mules. Our make sure you stay up ahead on upgrades. Um, it's very, very important to make sure you stay ahead on upgrades. Uh, with almost any build, but with this one in particular, especially if you're going up against the If you're going up against the it's not If you're going up against the it's can be really, really useful to get, especially plus to attack. Infantry attack, level 3, get it as quickly as you can, as you can. And it'll help you. you know, I, I've played games where I've gotten 3-3 three, three upgrades and my Protoss opponent has gone like plus 1, plus 0 or something. And they had this huge Somebody Colossi death ball that was like as much supply as my bio army. And I somehow just ripped through their entire army and it's just because of the upgrades. So, I advocate getting those two, I know it's unorthodox, but I really advocate getting those two um, engineering bays up quickly. So, make sure you do that. And then, oh, don't forget to build your armory, <laughs> because you're going to need that to get plus two, plus two. I think it's right. thing. I routinely forget to build the armory. Upgrade complete. Um, so, yeah, to go over mechanics a little bit. Um, it's a little harder with Terran attacked. to do the thing where you just watch your, your base because a lot attacked. of times you need to be just switch between your buildings. So what I like to do is keep them like orbitals on one, that way I can scan, I can drop mules very quickly if I need to. Um, uh, my, that's number one hockey I should say, and then Ready number two is all my barracks. 
So that way, periodically, I just switch between one and two Our and make sure they're building something. Attacked. You should like always be always 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 building something out of your buildings, no matter what. Uh, then I also will hotkey my star ports to also make sure that I'm building stuff. Make sure I'm getting medivacs out. And you can even hotkey your, um, Our allies are being attacked. your engineering bay as well. Pretty good thing to do. But, uh, I like to hotkey your engineering bay, hotkey your barracks. Uh, and then you really only need one hotkey for your, um, your bio ball. And that's because you can load and unload all of your units really easily just using the mouse, and you can also split your units just using the mouse. If you're going up against Banelings or something, you can, you can pretty easily split all your units. Um, so what do you want to practice uh, to get better at this build? Well, one is going to be your build orders and your timings, making sure you don't get supply block like I do. Uh, making sh sure to do... you can do timing attacks where you do like plus one attack and get three racks and attack with stim packs, and that's really effective. Another thing to practice is splitting up. Like here what I did was I you know, did half my army and then the other half later, I st and you can stim like half my army. It's a good thing to do against like banelings. I was expecting to see some banelings, but I didn't really, they didn't materialize there. Um, and then finally, macro. Once you get onto like three bases, or, or you get up to even like, you can get up to four bases pretty easily by just flying your orbitals around. Um, like my 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 green uh, teammate, he's on four bases. Um, practice dropping mules. Practice farming out like, the big mineral patches just using mules, and practice getting huge clumps of units. Make entire giant death balls of bio units. So yeah, anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully it can help you get a little bit better. Um, like I said, turn it my best race, but uh, I think that this should help anybody who's in mid to lower leagues. And uh, yeah, so guys, don't be afraid to press the like button if you like this video. If you want to see another strategy that I do, I do have several other different strategies that I use, in just particularly for 4 versus 4. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.